8 millimeter and super 8 millimeter in a digital format. I mean, how many times has happened that you find an old film from maybe your grandparents or grand grandparents, right? Uh, family films, in this case, maybe they was recorded in 8 millimeters or super 8. And now you need to get a projector to be able to play this, right? But not only get a projector, you want this to preserve for a long time, right? Because this way they still preserve, but there is a danger that something happened over here, the film can get damaged, right? And to be able to share and to be able to watch it easily, right? In a computer, we need to create a digital format. So today with this device, we're gonna be able to go from a millimeter or so in this case a super A. Check this, check this uh these are like three minutes long. Imagine though you just go shopping back in the day and say, oh, we're going to watch a movie together. Let's look the Africa bit or just look the the circle one. And it was only like a three minutes. This is a three inches, so it's about three minutes. And the five inches was seven minutes. Now, the difference between the eight millimeter and the super eight millimeter was just the the, uh, the side to the film. Not the film, so the square was much bigger, so I had to get better resolution. So the recorded up will be at 1080. Uh, 30 frames per sec. Now we have to remember that back in the day it used to be 18 uh, frames per sec. Eh? Then the movie theaters are 24, right? And your two videos or what you're watching right now are uh, 30 frames per second. So this will convert from 18 all the way to 30 frames per second. Uh, 1080, yes, well, these are black and white. No sound, by the way, there was no sound in these things back in the day. So let me show you how the whole thing works right now. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxENT.com and today I'm going to show you how to get this thing going. We're going to digitize some of these cool, yeah, so interesting, right? Simple, right? We have the wheel, comes with the 5 inch, this is the 5 inch wheel, and this is the 3 inches wheel, right? So this is 7 minutes versus 3 minutes. Now around the phone we have a 2.4 inch screen and from here we can set a super, um, super A or a millimeter. Pretty simple. And use 12 volt power supply. And we can see right over there. But let me change the screen so you guys can see better this 100%. So we see that from the top. So we set the film a millimeter. You're going to open right over here. Put the film right there in the matter. You have to make sure you lock right over there. Right. And then you lock it. You close 2.4. From here, we have the power right there. So we have the power. We can rewind in the menu. We can format a bunch of stuff we can do through there. I'll show you that in a second as well. It will look right on the back. We have uh, USB output, so you can hook up this right on your computer, and that way you can transfer the movies from your memory card. It comes with 32 gigabyte and TV output and F12 volts. Now, so we get the cloth to uh, change, uh, clean the films. Right, we have this tool to clean the film, so clean the projector of the, the, uh, the device and the cable, USB, 32 gigabyte, and a little adapter, right? Because these movies are different, right? So this one requires a little adapter, so you can put the adapter here so you can be able to. All right, and you put the adapter so that way, right? It comes with two adapters, right? And the one wheel. All right, perfect. Ah, so, and the full instructions. How to use it, we have right over here. There you will learn it right now. It has a different language. And by the way, if you guys wonder, let me show you here. The difference between the Super 8 millimeter. So we see right over here. That's Super 8. So it's 5.79 uh, millimeters. That's the frame, right? The film is still the same. 7.9 millimeters between Super 8 and 8. Now... We can see that the film part or, or the picture part is, is 5.79 millimeters to 4.1. So it's a bigger square compared, right, to 3.3 uh, millimeter and 4.5 millimeters. So you can see, so here was a much bigger uh, covered area. So this will be a high resolution, let's say the high resolution back in the day compared to the regular, uh, regular 8 millimeter. So we put the empty roll around the right side and the film on the left side. Simple, you need to follow exactly what it shows right over there. We need to add the little adapter. Because some reason this one is bigger, I guess it depends on the roll, right? So we put it right over there. 
and this is a three minute film takes about uh, 20 24 minutes or 30 minutes to do the conversion you go right there now pay attention when you're going to install there is two little tabs uh, around the back so make sure it goes underneath the top underneath all right very important do not close that so we're going to go around it followed the, the way you need to do it right there right there if you see the video right now all right and we already i think i forgot to put it on the one and it i think i skipped one as you notice that they see in the video i noticed i skipped that one out we're not, we're not supposed to do that i think i did all right so we close the top uh, we turn it on now make sure you install the memory and if you see okay it moves a little few frames and now we're going to start the scanning press it right there so we have the menu right the control and we're going to press the scanning press ok and it asks you seven minutes i mean three minutes or seven minutes so we're gonna we can move the arrow left and right to move it but we're going to do go three minutes press ok and that's it now relax come back 30 minutes later and it's done will be right in your memory card make sure you install your memory card first okay if not it will reset itself and not a big deal but you got to make sure uh, the memory card is installed so now you just wait and 30 minutes later you have a uh, digital version of the uh, of your movie or the family memories right another thing you can do is output it straight to a tv and it comes with the cable that i showed in the beginning but it comes with a regular analog video the, fam the famous yellow connector right but um 2600 i thought he used now the way i trick this out because it has only analog and if you have the new tv i don't think the new tv has even this that old hdmi right so the way to do it, if I want to show you this device, I will leave you the link this as well too. There's a little trick we can do this. It's important if you guys want to use a retro console, well, there's a way to do it. So the way I did, and got this control, it's about $13. So input the regular video here, analog video. If you had output, uh, input to audio. So the way I did it, I'm using this to convert video to HDMI. Now, regular video, there was no audio for here. There was no audio back in the day for these films. You're going to power up with 5 volts, set this to 720 or 1080, and then you output to HDMI. That way, now I can project or play this on and right on the TV. That will be the case if you want to do that. So I just plug it in there. When you plug it in, the screen will automatically go off, so you will see that on the computer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to turn it on. And I want to show a few things here in the menu, you guys can see. If you go right in the main menu, we can play back. Play back where it records in the 32 gigabyte memory. We can fast forward. So fast forward, when, when you finish a movie, you have to change the wheels, right? And then fast forward so you can put the movie back in the original state. You can change the exposure. You can change um, the frame, adjust the frame, so it's into round sharp. It's, you can change language. Format the memory card. You can always format right your computer. And that will be it. Simple, right? That's it in the version. Play back. That's what I, about there. Now, when you're going to install the, the, the reels, right, there are three inches, the small ones, and the five inches is the big wheel, the one we see right over here. This is five inches, seven minutes, three minutes. So what I'm going to do now, let's go back into record the movie. So here you need to set, right, maximum three minutes, three inches or five inches. This is a small Three minutes. Imagine people will go crazy, right? And you just got three minutes of movie, right? And today, you got two hours worth. Press OK. And that's exactly what we see before. So now it's recording each frame. Now, you see that? They're going to see that way. No, I'll show you now. You're not going to see that way. So right now, it takes three minutes. will take 34 minutes. 
because it goes frame by frame, and then the software or whatever they use here, it will compress all, and then it will make it 1080, 30, uh, 30 frames per second. This is about 19 frames per second, okay? So now it's getting frame by frame and recording and put it all together. So now you just leave it there, right? And that's it. You don't need to hook up in a computer or TV, but if you want it, that's it, the output you will see, right? Try this so you can have an idea. So I'm gonna stop this. All right, so we stop it right there. Now, we can take the memory out, plug it around the computer, but we're just gonna do it from here. So we're gonna go, choose playback, press OK, and I record a few here. Uh, let's go back, Africa, yes. Let's press OK. And you see it's in an in, 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 in pick format, and you see now, that's perfect, that's 30 frames per second. Sure, now you see time and play. That's because I'm playing from the projector and the memory will not show you that. But it looks nice. Check that out. So that black and white. That is a good way to keep you all films, family films, or some films you maybe you find somewhere there. They are, who knows, good history there. And we can forward to the next. We go to the circuit one, the one I was playing. Let's press OK. All right. By the way, uh, this film was from 1950s. All right, so... Okay. Record right over there. Yes. So yeah, looks perfect. I got another. I was in Spain, eh? So, and I was a little bit. So as you see, it's pretty simple to do it. Just set 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 your wheel three minutes or seven minutes. No, three inches versus five inches. Put it in. Make sure when you set the film once again, do not throw the film in. Just you're gonna see two little locks. So you're going to put it right underneath and then close it and that's it. And then you got all these things that as you see in the instructions they tell you after you finish, make sure you clean everything because it's all, it's all done. It's only taking the tags. I mean, think about it. If you have some of these films, I would say family films, well, what are you waiting for? I will start, you know, digitizing all these things. Leave it there, digitize it and get all the films in a day. You did a bunch of these things and then now you put it in Facebook, you share between friends, who knows? It's always something nice to see. Even for me, I'm curious. You know, even though it has no music or anything, I'm curious now. To, I'm going to digitize this thing and actually watch it. Yeah. That three minutes, that cool to see what people recall back in the day. Interesting, right? You see this, wow, people going to buy this. Imagine that all happy. You know, hey, by the way, movie night. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's laughing. Movie night. By the time you do one, two steps, the movie's over. Yeah, seven minutes. Wow, make it think, right? Wow, uh, what a wonderful thing, right? I want the cast of films. I gotta, I gotta Google that. So, it's so this company up there. The company was in New York, by the way. Park Avenue. There was Park Avenue. Yeah, Park Avenue. 221 Park Avenue. Wow, New York City. Who knows, huh? All right, guys. Let me know. Uh, let me know uh, right below this video. If you ever try one of the devices, if you want to digitize one of the films, and I will leave the link so you can get the projector and I'll leave you also the link if you guys are interested to get that, that device to connect right into the, any HDMI uh, display or a capture card like the way I did. I'll see you next time.